Good morning, Jeremy and Teresa. My name is Jarl Kubot with West USA Realty in Mesa, Arizona. I'm over in the city of Glendale doing some uh, walkthrough and video and picture tours of some of the properties we talked about via the phone here the other day. So hang on to your eyeballs. I'm going to give you some live, raw, unedited, lots of blooper video. Okay, and then uh, once you get these, uh, look through the videos, look through the pictures, and uh, we'll talk more about uh, what we've seen today. Okay, so here we go. These are the townhomes, and uh, these here, this is a pretty good sized community. It does have a, it backs up to a golf course. I haven't been over to view the golf course yet, but we had three townhomes in this community that we are going to take a look at here for you today. And then this community also has some condo style living, uh, you know, one above the other. And, and I've got, I think, three single stories. I was going to go in and take a look at those. Those are running in that $130,000 range. These townhomes are in that 175 to 200 range, okay? The first one I was in was uh, unit uh, 1801. It was a very nice unit, right on the golf course, uh, right next to uh, freeway access. So it was quite loud inside. I've been through this community, very nice community. Again, this is the 7101 West Beardsley Road. Nice community, very well kept. All the yards, all the buildings look very good. Well built, block construction, nice size, big garages. A uh, lot to offer in the community. The HOA fees seem fairly reasonable. Uh, so uh, we'll give you a tour here. These are the double garages. This is unit uh, 1504. And this is just kind of everything that's around it before you pull into the garages. And then here is looking uh, down the street here to the north. This is your freeway access. That's what that high wall is when you see it in ever, uh, other pictures. The freeway is on the other side. I'm quite a distance. I don't hear the freeway from, it, from on the back patio or it, when I'm inside. Where the first unit I, I heard the freeway traffic and noise quite a bit. Dumpsters down there to that end. And then these are some other units here. So this unit is pretty much, the unit we're looking at is pretty much north-south, which is really pretty much, the, it's one of the most desirables. It sits on the uh, south side of the street facing north, so we have a nice warm patio in the wintertime. Very nice for winter guests when you want to get out of that cold Minnesota weather, Teresa, and come down and enjoy some of this. And so we walk up in the middle here, and um, your side is to the right. There's a center sidewalk here that goes up. All the exteriors of these buildings are very well maintained. Recent paint, the bushes are well trimmed. I don't see some of the signs for some of the different issues for Arizona uh, with this unit on a quick, uh, quick look here for you. But the HOA seems like uh, they're doing quite well. Nice little community. I'd never been in this community before, and they do have some uh, very nice places here. So all these units, these townhomes are per that we're looking at for today's uh, sake are the same floor plans. So once we've seen a video of them, they're all the same except for uh, the layout's the same except for decorations and stuff. We have a nice tile entryway here, and we have a coat closet straight ahead of us that is underneath the stairway. Now, very nice place, and so and this furniture and everything they've been using it as a seasonal seasonal rental. Uh, the owners have, and uh, a lot of this furniture is negotiable. We have a very flowery, pot pourri kind of smell in here. Um, it, it doesn't bother me. Uh, it's not uh, stinky, stinky, but it is flowery smell uh, if you're uh, in the pot pourri, okay? And then uh, kitchens are small in this, but where this chair is, a lot of times that'll be your dining area, and then your living area will be down that way, but they've done it in reverse here. They put a ceiling fan down on that end. So we have a downstairs bedroom and an upstairs bedroom, and our main bedroom, our master bedroom is upstairs. These are two bedrooms, two baths. And on this particular unit, we have uh, double doors going into the bedroom down here. All the carpet, all the paint seems very nice. Uh, this is a king size bed in this bedroom here.
and our patio going out to outside. Now, this this uh, bathroom is also for the guest bath. There's two separate doors, one going in it from the bedroom and one going in it from the hallway, this downstairs bathroom. We have, uh, here's our back patio. And this is the one, Teresa, that we talked about. This is a gravel backyard, landscape, very nice. Uh, you don't really maintain anything out in this uh, backyard, but lots of nice privacy back here. Got a little uh, pond uh, straight across from us. Quite an area back here. Lots of nice trees, lots of nice landscaping. We're looking over there at the uh, uh, at the uh, condos, uh, one above the other type deal. Hopefully we're not making you too dizzy here today. And then here is the back of this unit. That's the neighbors directly to the east of you. And this is the back of the unit uh, 1504 here. We got That's our balcony coming out from the master bedroom and our patio below. And that window over there behind that tree, that looks into our living room. So as here's looking mostly off to the west in this direction. Uh, quite surprised. You know, um, I think it's a little uh, upper income level maybe in these units. Uh, very well maintained. Uh, I'm quite surprised. I've, I've never been in here before. Here is a door going into the uh, living room from the back patio. I think a lot of these units are sold as uh, for seasonals for people that are wintertime. It is not a retirement community per se. We have a, a smaller walk-in closet right behind that door and now we're looking into the, uh, the, the bathroom. Just a smaller uh, sink and counter down here, just a, a single vanity. And then we have a little linen closet right behind this door. And then we've got our, uh, I'm sorry I misspoke, I do not. <laughs> There's a, uh, I told you, live, raw, unedited, lots of blooper video here. This could be turned into a tile floor in this bathroom. Uh, carpet uh, doesn't look bad, I think it would clean up good, but it is kind of wore in the paths, pathways a little bit. But the bedrooms, the rest of the living room and everything look pretty good. That's a full bath and shower full tub and shower and uh, you've got a high-rise stool and then this is your door right there that goes into the hallway that comes in from where the garage is hopefully we're not getting you too confused here if I go back towards this front door here then uh, we do have a linen closet in that hallway And then uh, we go into the garage here, or into the laundry room area, I'm sorry. Nice size laundry room. And then a nice size garage as well. I took pictures off the garage, it's kind of hard to do it off the video camera. We do have a, a cat door here going into the garage. There's our uh, 50 gallon hot water heater. And looking back out into our hallway here. Nice high vaulted ceilings in this room. Gas fireplace. And a door going out to the back patio. So these are quite nice. You have your, your bedroom downstairs, you have your master upstairs, and you have a loft area for an office or extra guests. A lot of people put a uh, 
will put a Murphy bed in that loft area or they'll put uh, one of those trundle beds or uh, futons. That little window there that's looking back towards the front door on the lower level here and that little window looks into the kitchen. This kitchen they have just a, a table with, uh, with uh, two chairs, just a small table and they can eat in the kitchen. Again, the, the carpet, most of this is pretty decent. If you come in and put tile floors in this bottom level, uh, you wouldn't, uh, it would look awful nice in here. It would really update it a bit. Um, and you can tile all these floors in the uh, downstairs and, uh, and wood floors or laminate floors in the bedroom on a place this size for probably about 6500 That's a little bit maybe on the high side. You can do it much cheaper, you can spend much more as well. There's a window looking out to the front where we first came in. And this is our loft area. They have a futon up here and a little office desk. And this is right outside the master bedroom. There's an outlet there for a ceiling fan. And then here's looking over the top of this loft area. We've got about a pony wall about three foot high that's looking down onto that uh, our great room living room area. And our door going out to the back patio. So again, nice size master bedrooms. They've got a uh, king size bed in this room as well. And then there is our uh, patio door looking out over the balcony. Very quiet, very pretty, very peaceful. There's looking down on the backyard that's off the back patio. Nice size master bedroom uh, up here with a nice large uh, bathroom. First place I looked at, they'd redone the shower, made a larger all tile shower. We've got a nice, really nice size walk in closet there to my left. We've got another hallway closet, and part of it is, uh, is a linen closet for up here. And then we've got his and her sinks here in the master bath. We've got a nice uh, garden tub here. It's not a jacuzzi tub, it is just a garden tub. And then our showers around to the left. I, I did take a video of this. It's kind of tight quarters. I I'm sorry, pictures of this. It is kind of tight quarters to get us in there off of the uh, off of the video camera. That window there looks out over to the front entry where we first came in. If you've uh, stumbled into this video looking for a home in Arizona for yourself, my name is Jarl Kubat with West USA Realty and Arizona Retirement Communities. You can reach me at 480-710-6326. You can also visit one of my specialty websites uh, for Arizona Retirement Communities and that's www.justjarl.com. That's J-U-S-T. J -A -R -L .com. You'll find over 50 plus links to retirement communities throughout the valley with the current listings and price reductions within each community and that is updated daily. You can also visit my website for Scottsdale Homes. It's uh, scottsdalehomesearch.com. It's www.scottsdalehomesearch.com. Uh, Teresa and Jeremy, I hope this video has helped you out. I look uh, forward to meeting you in person. I would definitely appreciate your business and uh, let me know if you have any further questions or if we can get you any further videos on any other properties. We've got about eight of them we're going to look at for you today. This is the first uh, video of maybe two, three, or four. So we'll talk soon. Take care and have a great day. Thank you.